Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now the first thing you should do when you buy a new graphics card is of course install the latest drivers for it. Take the RX 6400 here, a card that's probably featured way too much on the channel recently, but one that I'll be using for today's experiment. Installing the drivers is as simple as going to the AMD website and finding the model from the menu. In this case, the current Adrenaline driver version is 22.11.2. These Adrenaline drivers are geared towards gaming and each subsequent release of these drivers will add support for the latest titles. Did you know however that you can also use Pro drivers with traditional desktop graphics cards like this one? Pro drivers are intended for workstation cards, cards used for stuff like computer aided design, computer generated imagery and high performance computing applications work instead of play. The W6400, which is the Pro equivalent of the standard 6400 we tested in the previous video, uses these drivers, but as I said, they can also be used with a standard desktop card, as you can see in this screenshot here. At this point in time, the latest Pro release is 22Q4. This got me wondering if using these Pro drivers had any significant impact in games. Would they be a little worse, or a lot worse, given that they aren't intended to play your favourite AAA releases? I've seen mixed results with different cards elsewhere, so I thought I'd try it for myself with this entry-level GPU. First things first, and this is definitely worth testing for yourselves, you won't break anything, but you might get the odd warning about driver compatibility or outdated versions. On one occasion, faults are refused to start, but after trying it again for a second time, everything fired up as it should, and none of my tested games refused to start altogether. The simplest way to compare the Adrenaline to the Pro drivers today was to pick a handful of games with built-in benchmarks and run them after performing two clean driver installations. Here are the results. The first game I started off with today is an older title, but one that I feel is still very good and worth a play in 2023. This is Assassin's Creed Origins, and here we are running the benchmark of course at 1080p with the high graphics preset. Now this isn't really a match for modern cards, even entry level ones such as the RX 6400, and when using the Pro drivers, the average came back at 66 with a 1% low of 56 and a 0.1% low of 54 meaning that there was barely any stutter to speak of. The adrenaline drivers, the ones you would normally use with a gaming card like this, version 22.11.2 came back with an average of again 66 and percentile lows that matched that of the pro drivers. The 0.1% low was slightly increased and again there was no stutter but this falls within sort of margin of error territory here. Basically, what I'm saying is that there's no difference whether you choose to install the Pro drivers or the Adrenaline drivers with this game. In Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 at 1080p with the basic preset and the normal textures enabled, we saw a huge difference with the Adrenaline drivers this time around. Now the Pro drivers still managed a decent result with 74 FPS and the 1% and 0.1% low figures were respectable. However, the Adrenaline drivers hit at least 10 FPS more on average with very similar 1% low. So while the average was much improved, the dips and drops that occurred on occasion didn't really change. We still saw a few little drops with the frame rate here and there, particularly as there was a lot of smoke effects on screen during the benchmark and gunfire, stuff like that. Both games run well, but there's definitely a noticeable improvement when using the drivers that you would normally expect to use, the adrenaline drivers. In Cyberpunk 2077, low crowd density here with the low preset. Now the low preset in this game used to absolutely set everything to low, but it doesn't do that anymore. We sort of get a mix of low and medium. 
We can of course play around with the texture quality too, but with the low preset this defaults to low which I think is best for this 4 gigabyte RX 6400. Now here the frame rates were very similar once again, 66 on average with the Pro drivers, 67 with the Adrenaline drivers and very similar 1 and 0.1% lows. Now I've got to be honest, these results aren't really representative of actual gameplay because in game given the different areas and things going on on screen, you are going to see worse performance than in the benchmark test. I don't think the benchmark run in Cyberpunk is particularly good at giving you an idea of real world gaming scenarios, but in terms of comparisons, I needed to use it so that it remained a fair test. Here we are in Forza Horizon 5 then. This is the one that refused to start first time around, but since recording this script, I've tried it a few times since and I've experienced no issues. In this one, the pro drivers were actually slightly better on average, although again, I'm sorry to say this falls within margin of error territory. 88 FPS compared to 87, although the frame times were slightly better with the traditional adrenaline dr adrenaline adrenaline drivers thanks to that increased 0.1% low 69 nice compared to 67 you're not really going to notice any difference though when actually playing which can be said for a lot of the other tests so far apart from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 which was a bit of an outlier I'm not sure how much of a difference in that game you're going to see when actually playing on the different maps and such but there we go Forza Horizon 5 however back on subject and there's no noticeable difference between the Pro Drivers 22Q4 and the Adrenaline Drivers 2211 2 Finally then, we have Red Dead Redemption 2. This is with the console equivalent settings, which I feel make the game look very nice, and on lower end cards like this, it runs really well with close to 60 FPS. Now I spoke about this one yesterday, and I said how good or how much of a difference there was with the W6400 over the RX6400. I thought this might be a driver related thing and it seems like it is because with the pro drivers even with the standard RX 6400 as opposed to the pro card we did see slightly better results 59 on average compared to 57 with the pro drivers this time around and the other figures were improved across the board most notable I think is that 0.1% low which is 40 with the pro drivers as opposed to 35 with the standard adrenaline drivers Again, you probably aren't going to notice much of a difference in game, but the difference is certainly there. And if you want to play Red Dead Redemption 2 on an RX 6400, you might be better off installing the Pro drivers, to be honest, though. I wouldn't recommend uninstalling the normal adrenaline drivers and installing the Pro ones just for the sake of one game. There may be others, but... In a lot of situations it's too close to call and you might find in certain games like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 you're going to be missing out on a lot of performance if you install the Pro Drivers instead. Now to conclude I don't think I've established anything here that you probably didn't already know but I just wanted to see how big that difference was when it came to performance and I hope you've enjoyed it nonetheless. If you did, leave a like down below, leave a dislike if you didn't. I'd love to know your findings if you have a different card from AMD and you just so happen to test this out let me know if you do subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and you want to of course and hopefully I'll see all of you in the next one